Guess Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? Public security to run around. That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. We just ran into something I don't like. Cloud is a lying asshole here. Now, he said he had to attract the guards' attention away from the train station, implying that he was the reason why they were able to escape. Well, that's clearly not what happened. He got lost, he ran into the flower girl, he got attacked by ghosts, and a weird vision of Sephiroth. He didn't intentionally attract the guards' attention so they could escape. He is full of shit. And of course, the original Cloud, meaning the Cloud in the original game, was full of shit as well. But the difference was that he didn't know it. He was a delusional asshole rather than just some kind of a blowhard. Hmm. Can't say I care for the change they made there. I, of course, fully understand that design sensibilities have changed in the past 20 years. A good character nowadays isn't necessarily what you'd expect to see out of a good character in a video game from the mid-90s. Cloud at the time came across as sort of an aggressive asshole. And that was a kind of a fresh take on a kind of character we hadn't really seen before. And that was one of the reasons why people were drawn to him. And of course, his character didn't stay like that very long into the game. But that first impression was very important. And people don't necessarily want to see that kind of character now. But the character was deeper than that. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly. But I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? <sighs> Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <gasps> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> Those fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. Spoiler alert. But Avalanche gets caught. <laughs> Barrett and pretty much all of Avalanche are not the most clandestine group of people. 
It is no wonder that these people get caught. Just can't keep his damn mouth shut. And it's the fact that he's running around and he's got this gigantic Gatling gun for an arm. And Cloud's got this huge sword. Kind of attract attention. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell you? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Oh my god, what a bunch of morons. <laughs> Standing on the train platform, bragging and celebrating of the fact that they bombed that reactor. I think it's a little strange, though, that they're suddenly excited about what just happened, considering that the explosion was much bigger than what they had anticipated what they had planned for caused a lot more death and destruction than they had intended to they didn't just destroy the reactor they destroyed a lot and they killed a lot of people but they're all excited and they're celebrating on the platform there are freaking other people around damn it okay so we have landed in sector seven and sector seven i mean it has a similar look and feel to it that that we saw in the original game here of course it is much expanded and in the next episode we'll have a much closer look at the entire town but pretty much all we're going to be doing here is running in the direction of uh, seventh heaven tifa's bar much longer pathway getting there 
Drum plate, he's only had it so quick. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Sector 8 was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. Haven't figured out what that ghost thing is yet. I guess maybe it's the spirit of the ancients or something like that. Uh, I don't know. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and uh, excuse me. Back, uh, due to an back. emergency, entry this? into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir! In accordance with emergency regulations, entry into this area is prohibited. Please, leave at once. Still too nice! This area is off limits. Turn around and leave at once. If you don't, I'll have no choice but to use force. Now you're getting the hang of it. It's kind of the little touches that really draw the fans in. Now, these two are pretty much insubstantial characters. They don't even have names. But, it, you know, it hit me right in the feels just to see them here, though. I like the art design of the Sector 7 slums. I haven't seen Sectors 5 or 6 yet, but I assume they're probably something similar. Now, it does seem dirty, it does seem trashy. These people are in the kind of dregs of society, the downtrodden underclass, but there is a certain kind of homey feel to the entire thing. It doesn't quite get across, though, that this is supposed to be some sort of crime-ridden slum, though. Marlene! <gasps> Daddy, you're home! That's right, Angel, I Welcome am. back. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I picked up a Tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh. <laughs> hey! Uh, the hell Barrett. you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. Huh? That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering Daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk. 
outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... Chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. So, you make nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So... it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <laughs> and you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. It's not just things like the longer bombing run or the much longer escape from the reactor to the train. They've added a lot of extra stuff into this, like all of this Cloud having an apartment and spending extra time in Seventh Heaven and all that kind of stuff wasn't happening in the original game. Not to say that it's unwelcome or anything, it was just a little bit unexpected. I probably should have expected it though, considering they did say that this was going to be a 40 hour game and this really may be like three or four hours or something like that of content with what they described this game ending in the original game 
Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. <laughs> 